Rhode Island. Thank you to my hometown of Cranston. To our neighbors in Warwick here. And thank you to every community from Woonsocket to Westerly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after tonight, we are all moving forward together as one. I'm so humbled to see so many friends packed in here, so many former colleagues, so many people I've worked with. My heartfelt thanks to every Rhode Islander, every Rhode Islander who showed faith in me today with his or her vote. Thank you so much. It is because of you that our campaign moves forward tonight. And with your continued support, I will be the next governor of Rhode Island. stood with me back on November 4th of last year when I formally announced my candidacy for governor of Rhode Island. And on that day, I said we were about to begin a year-long journey. Now here we are, just two more months away from completing that journey to the Rhode Island State House. far because of every one of you. And I am so grateful, so grateful and thankful for your support. <laughs> I love you too. Over and over again during the past 10 months, I've been asked one simple question. Why am I running for governor? Well, the answer is simple. And it's always been the same. I'm running for governor because I want to put people, the great people of Rhode Island, back to work. <laughs> during my time as mayor, during my time as mayor, over 1,000 new jobs have been created in the city of Cranston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've been able to do this in Cranston, and we will. We will do this statewide, too, in each and every community. <laughs> Restoring our economy is the most important issue of this campaign and the number one challenge facing the state of Rhode Island and our next governor. And to encourage businesses to expand or relocate to Rhode Island, we have to improve the business climate in our state. Very simply, we need more jobs. And, we will, and when we put people back to work, they will provide a better future for Rhode Island and their families. Rhode Island is a great place to live. Now let's make it a great place to work. I can promise you this. On day one of a Fung administration, I will declare Rhode Island open for business. Yeah. 
You know, as mayor of the state's third largest city, I've learned where government can help with job creation and when government simply has to get out of the way of the private sector. And the message is simple. All of you know this. We're not going to be able to tax our way out of this. We're not going to be able to spend our way out of this. And we can't regulate our, our way to prosperity. I will find and eliminate those overburdensome regulations that hold back business growth. And we will. We will provide timely answers for businesses that need permits or approvals to expand their operations. About time! Okay. Okay. One by one, we will tear down these barriers that stand in the way of improving our business climate in this state that we all love. Streamlining regulations will be a step in the right direction, but let's face it, what we really need is a more competitive tax structure for Rhode Island. When I took over the city of Cranston, I pledged to fight for the taxpayers, and that's exactly what I did. Now, now, I'm taking on a different fight. I'm going to be fighting for the taxpayers of Rhode Island. My $200 million tax reduction plan will send a signal to companies inside our state that we haven't forgotten about them and to